Welcome back to yet another FNA Friday, and today we're going to talk about animation exercises. Moving forward in my step-by-step, -step, hopefully useful guideline of what to do when you're new to animation, today we're going to tackle animation exercises and what you should be doing, what you could be doing, or what might be helpful in your animation endeavors. So far we've gone through the initial chapter of don't do it, meaning it's hard, animation is hard. If you decide to move forward, what would be your goals, which should be lofty so that you have something that pushes you forward, but at the same time, realistic and not too crazy so you don't get discouraged. And in order for it to be not demotivating, I would advise you to do something short so that you don't spend too many hours on something that you might abandon. So as the title said on the FNA way back, Keep it short, but also do it more than once. So you don't just do one exercise and then leave it. You gotta go through the repetition. And then as you continue, you have to make a choice if you're gonna do something that's purely an exercise or something that's for a demo reel, because how you approach the shot and how it's gonna look like at the end are going to be two very different things. But as you go forward, do not underestimate a bouncing ball, which was the title of a previous FNA, because the bouncing ball really is the foundation and there's so much you can do. There's so much to learn from it. It's just a very valuable piece of exercise. Now that you move forward and go beyond the bouncing ball, you're going to do potentially human type animation. So you have to look at specific reference and how do you shoot reference? What are good preparations for it? And what should you pay attention to it? That was the previous FNA. And then today we're going to talk about exercises. So you're deciding to go the exercise route and not yet demo reel. So what could you do? And as it turns out, there's a lot that you can do. There are a lot of tips online and I'm going to go through a couple websites that have really, really good exercises. So let's get right to it. So the first one on the list is the Animator Island 51 great animation exercises to master list. It's a classic list and as you go down you can see there is so much to do. The variety is fantastic. It's broken up into different levels with tips and tricks and guidelines. It's absolutely fantastic. And as with everything, there will be all the links in the description below. Next up is this list from Thinking Animation. So you have video examples, you have inanimate objects and so on. It goes through all kinds of levels, beginner and intermediate and advanced. Look at that. There's a ton of stuff. Holy moly. If you go through the first two websites already, even if it's somewhat repetitive, potentially, that's okay because you want to repeat the exercises. Don't just do them once. There's a lot to do, but there's another site I want to show you. The 11 second club, a classic. I'm going to link this page in the description as well. There's so much to go through there. But in general, if you just go to the main page, there you have every month a provided sound clip. And it's a really good choice for an exercise just because, I mean, it's long. It's, you know, it's not your short two to three seconds that I would suggest, but it has a firm deadline. So one of the pitfalls, one of the tricky things to go through when you do exercises at home or wherever you are, you don't have a deadline. You just start an exercise and then you might try something and take a break and go back and you might take too long and then maybe you might abandon the shot. The good thing about the 11 second club is that there is always a deadline that might force you to actually get get through it, finish it, and then submit it. I know I have problems that when I work from home and I do my own personal shots, which have been a long time ago, I think like five years by now, I start something and it's a way too long. I tell everybody, keep it short, but I, I do I make the same mistakes. And then it takes me a while. And also I have an idea and I really like it, but then within, you know, blocking, I go, this is kind of boring. And then I feel like I want to abandon the shot. So I'm really used to deadlines, given that I have deadlines at work. So I like that. 30 day or whatever you know deadline you might find maximum and and submission pressure and that helps me a lot maybe if you don't have something like the 11 second club maybe you, you need to put yourself on the pressure and say i only have 10 days for this or two weeks or three weeks or something like that but a deadline is definitely going to be helpful apart from those sites i'm going to put some more links in the description below with articles that i wrote for my spongella blog and if you find that you want to go beyond the exercises where you still do exercises but they're not just a character in an empty room maybe you want to do something where maybe a character is walking along the beach or going down a hillside or sliding down like an icy mountain, I don't know, maybe you want to take an exercise, but just bring it up a bit in terms of complexity. Maybe those websites that I listed are not providing enough. One thing that I do in terms of inspiration is that I have a blog that is private and I post all kinds of stuff on it. And that's going to be part of a different FNA or a separate post, but just quick. It's on here with timestamps and I have all kinds of things on there in terms of artwork and sets 
and dialogue pieces. There's all kinds of stuff on there that is going to help me stay inspired. And if you go all the way back up here, so take for instance this one. Unfortunately, I did not write down who provided this piece of artwork. But to me, this would be an interesting thing where you can do either a sit down or a specific move or a gesture. But because it is on this hillside, things could roll down or the way they sit down, it slides a bit, they have to readjust. There's just something about this set that might add specific acting choices or force the character into specific acting choices, which could be really cool to kind of expand your animation exercises. So it's, it goes beyond a head turn or a gesture or a pickup of an object. So I would look at certain photos or drawings or whatever inspirations you can find in terms of maybe it's this set that inspires you to do a certain exercise. So you might go set first, environment first, and then think about what the character is going to do in that environment. But go through that list, there's a ton to do, but you might find something where you go, this is really cool, but it might be 10 seconds, 15 seconds. So maybe you can just take the essence of this shot or this exercise and the idea and maybe keep it to three seconds. I want to try to do something where it's two to three to four, maybe five seconds, because by keeping it short, you're just not going to be overwhelmed. You have enough time and you can finish it, you can polish it and then move on. Take what you learn and put that into the next shot. If you have any other sites or any specific exercises that you came across and tried that you want to mention to other people, put that in the comments. That would be awesome. If you find any of this helpful, a like would be highly appreciated. And as always, subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to get all the updates for all the uploads. And if you have watched until the very end, thank you for sticking with it and I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.